nous sommes septembre et je ferme ma chambre. Yes, all of our product is made in Binghamton, New York, which is in the USA. And a couple of reasons why we do it is a we need to control all of our quality. It's a very important uh, marketing term for us to say made in America because the company was founded in America. And to, to keep all of our design elements in-house and our key features like the blue meters, the output transformers, all the circuit design is proprietary to Macintosh to give the best natural sound that we can make. Macintosh's identifiable features is its look and its heritage. I, the look has been the look for Macintosh. It's morphed over the years and, and been enhanced a little bit, but it's very identifiable from the roots of the company from when it was originally produced. The, the, the reason for the beautifulness is also for the customer to enjoy the, the longevity of the product. The product lasts for a very long time. So. Yes, glass is fragile that we use on the faceplate, but you can't get a better finish than a glass finish. We silk screen everything from the back to give it that deep dark black look along with the gold lettering and green when it's on and the blue meters for that soothing uh, movement when you're listening to music to put you in the mood for the best possible audio experience that you can have. And with all the elements of the glass panel, people can clean all day long and never touch the, the screening on the front of the unit to, to cause any harm to it. The, the Macintosh sound has a lot of different elements to it, but the, the, the main elements are really when you listen to a whole entire Macintosh system. Forget about the loudspeakers for a moment, but just the electronics. If you have a preamp connected to the power amp, the biggest enhanced part of the Macintosh sound or what dictates the Macintosh sound really comes from the output transformer. We're the only company that will put an output transformer on the back of a solid state and we have very high proprietary uh, winding methods that we've developed since day one from our early days in vacuum tube. Still use it in the vacuum tube equipment but we've migrated that to the solid state side. And then there's other cues that we use for all the products, whether it be a CD player or preamplifier, there's no, there's no sound curve that we shoot for. It really comes down to the specifications of really low distortion, really good frequency re response, really good channel separation. They all mold together to give it that Macintosh sound, especially when it's pushed through the power amplifier. And the people that buy Macintosh product, it's a, it's, a, it's a big purchase. And there's a certain time in your life, unless you're very wealthy from day one, where you have a large amount of expendable income. And it's usually after your children graduate high school and graduate college, right? And if you think of how old the average person is when that happens, they're gonna be 45, 50-ish years old, or maybe a little bit older. So that's that's been the traditional time when a, when, a, when a customer would buy Macintosh. However, as your point, you know, MP3 is becoming more popular. And people will say, well, isn't that going to be the death of the high-end audio industry? I say no, because many young people are discovering more and more music every day and enjoying music because it's so convenient. And if, and if MP3 was just good enough, why would, why would people be spending four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on headphones? Everybody's still looking for better sound out of this, this, this device that plays a compressed file. So for us, our, our focus is A, exposing more people to the brand of Macintosh, regardless of what their age is, by different ways of marketing, but two, expanding our product category. So we brought out um, a year and a half ago was the MXA60, the small uh, mini system, which is a, a price point for speakers, amplifiers, CD player, preamp, even has vacuum tube free, AM FM tuner for $7,500.
U.S. retail. Later on this year, and coming very soon now, you'll see a product that can actually stream MP3 files from us. That's all I can say about that one for right now, but it's coming very soon, hopefully by the end of the month. The Macintosh culture inside the factory, it's always been a very much a family environment. And probably one of the biggest challenges I had was, you know, I went from being a co-op student of 19 years old, work, working my way up to the engineering department, to one day being the CEO. You know, I was a young kid that walked in there that really had passion for audio, but didn't know anything about audio equipment, per se. And, you know, to, to build that culture and then all of a sudden have to one day say to a group of people that's got probably, you know, six, seven hundred years of experience, now I'm the boss. So the only way you can culminate that is through a family environment. They have to trust you. And the people, the, Macintosh is Macintosh, but really the, 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 the people behind the brand or what make Macintosh what Macintosh is. Le soleil n'y entrera plus Tu ne m'aimes 